Oese is a Ukrainian servicewoman. She's been at war since February 26, 2021. She went to the front as soon as she turned 18. She went from a grenadier to a medic during these almost three years. She met the beginning of a full-scale Russian war in positions together with her fellow soldiers in the Uhansk region. The servicewoman took part in various operations, but one assault operation she'll remember forever. They attacked us. It was a column of equipment, infantry, artillery was shelling us. It was March the 1st. That day we had losses in a company. I remember those feelings. It was really very scary. I remember those first arrivals of the shells. It became so scary that I couldn't breathe. I was lying and had no control over either myself or the situation. Then I took a breath and heard on the radio. The company commander is reporting that ammunition is needed. I pulled myself together and ran to the foreman for the ammunition. And after that, I don't remember ever feeling such fear again. Last summer, the girl graduated from medical courses. Now she is evacuating the wounded. She says that she had to independently move to positions to carry out the wounded. But the most difficult thing in the work is losing people who during the war became part of one's military family. I had a very seriously wounded soldier. I didn't even know if I had time to get him to the headquarters. The guys were returning from positions. They were hit by an anti-tank guarded missile. There was a car full of people. As a result, two had light wounds, one was killed and one had heavy wounds. So you understand, he was in such a condition that when I arrived at the call, they told me his last name, but I couldn't even recognize the guy. That much wounding he was. The worst thing for a doctor is a head wound. It is very difficult to stabilize it. At a stage, we cannot always stop the bleeding from the head. If it is an arm or a leg, then we work there. But if it is a head, then it is much more difficult. Oese is improving her skills and dreams of studying and becoming an anesthesiologist after the end of the war. In her backpack there is only everything necessary to save a person and the Ukrainian flag. The main things are a hemostatic agent, a bandage, painkillers, tablets, injections. And here I also have a flag, packed so it doesn't get dirty. I have a dream, to be in the center of Donetsk with this flag and had it on the administration building. Donetsk will definitely return home. Viktor is OSS commander. He admits that at first he doubted sending a service woman to life-threatening missions. But when he saw how motivated she was, he stopped doubting her. Of course I worry. But let me tell you, guys complain more than she does. She has never complained to me yet. She is always in a good mood. A person who knows their business doesn't hesitate to undertake any tasks. She is brave. There were moments when it was necessary to pull people out under mortar fire. She walked in without hesitation. She did her job 100%. Mikola is Victor and Oese's brother in arms. The man was a railway worker in the Lviv region before the full scale war. He didn't even imagine that he would have to master military affairs, much less become an intelligence officer. How did I become an intelligence officer? I came, I was mobilized. I ended up in a unit in our brigade. And as they say, they held a casting, looked at me that I was big and said, you will serve in intelligence. I don't mind, so I got in. Mukova has been at war since March last year. During this time he had hundreds of dangerous tasks. He tells us about one of them. It was an unpleasant situation. We were on a mission, we were crawling behind enemy lines. We were supposed to capture them suddenly, but they identified us earlier, waited for us, allowed us 15 meters closer, and a battle started, from which, unfortunately, not everyone returned. This will forever remain in the memory, but we need to deal with it and continue to push the enemy out of our territories. There is not much time to grieve. Mikola, Viktor and Oesa would like to spend this day with their loved ones, but they continue to defend their homeland from Russian occupiers, bringing the victory of good over evil closer every day. Reported by Anastasia Volkova, Diana Kolesnik, Pavlo